how about Tua, man? I figured I'll just give you the the the, the floor here. Uh, him being named uh, kind of out of the blue uh, in a way, named the the starting quarterback of the Miami Dolphins, and you know setting up an incredible uh, game that we wouldn't be normally talking about. Cincinnati uh, taking on Miami in Week 13. It sounds like a, it would be set for a Saturday on CBS with the SEC. Instead, it's going to be set for a Sunday on CBS. Uh, in the AFC. Um, I, I'll give you the floor on uh, who Tua is and what he might have shown uh, behind the scenes to make this maneuver um, quicker, do you think, Pat? Yeah, I mean, he's a wonderful soul. I mean, just a delightful young man, uh, great attitude, enjoys the game, has fun playing. Uh, never seen him feel like a situation is too big for him. You know, he, I mean, he, he truly believes he is good enough to do whatever you ask him to do, including to take over from a guy who had done a pretty good job and done pretty well for his team. I mean, that's the surprising thing to me, Rich, is, is you know, the Dolphins aren't 0-4, 0-5, and then right. out of the con- contention or anything. They're, they're doing well, and to make the change now, well, that, I, that certainly says they like what they have seen from Tua. Uh, great touch on the ball, wonderful accuracy, and, and the one thing Saban always said about him is instinctually gifted a player as he's ever seen. He just has great instincts for what to do and when. How about that? And Herbert's doing really well too. I mean, that's no surprise, right? Yeah. I mean, he's he's um, he's been terrific for the Chargers so far, Pat. Yeah, he's uh, he's actually surprised me a little bit because I, I mean, he had all the physical talents. I just wasn't sure he was accurate enough, and I saw in enough big games where he would kind of get a little wobbly. Uh, but he's been he's been really good so far.